Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, what's going on today? Uh, well, we went on another adventure over the weekend. Yes, we did. Um, so over the weekend, uh, we we went on a little excursion to uh, a winery in Marietta called uh, Chef Moose Cellars. And basically, they specialize in uh, their own craft mead. Yep, indeed they do. And um, we we went out we we went out for a friend's celebration birthday celebration, and we thought it was an opportunity since we were going to a, a winery, so to speak. We thought it was an opportunity to, you know, get some of this stuff on film, see what they got, and and check out a lot of their stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. Uh, we looked up Chef Moo online before we went because we wanted to know what they were about because we had never heard of them, never went there. Um, voted best winery in Georgia for 2020. So that's a that's a high mark. Doing a pandemic, no less. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You know, the one that's still going on. <laughs> you know, pretending it's not happening. But where they where they shine is they 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 uh they call themselves an urban an urban winery. Mm -hmm. And basically it it's it's essentially it's essentially uh an activity center and I don't wanna say activity center, that might be a bit much, but they do have activities. Their their one of their main activities is axe throwing, but right. but they also do comedy shows. They do tastings and pairings. They have like a club that you can join to you know where you go there regularly and you do tastings. Um, they also I know when we were there they did online trivia as well. Yeah, they do trivia nights, uh, craft beer. They always have different craft beer on tap and and a lot of their craft beer and the other ones that they have outside of what they make specifically is all georgia made mm -hmm. it's all local and we we had a chance we did a flight of a lot of their meads because they they do mead mm -hmm. they specialize in making mead mm -hmm. and um we we did a flight of a lot of their stuff. You'll 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 see it in the video. We mm -hmm. got footage, mm -hmm. and we got to taste a lot of their stuff. I really liked their. I can't think of the name of it right now. They was like Go Banana or something like that. Is yeah, that the one you were talking about. Yeah, it's the one that it's the one that that's that. Yeah, it's like Go Banana. I can't think of the name. It of was it. the last one. Yeah, it was the last yeah. one. Yeah, it was the. Banana. It has banana in the name, even though there's no bananas in it. Mm -hmm. And it and it was distinct from the other three because it it was it it had hops in it, mm -hmm. and uh, I made the comment that I liked it and I didn't like it, something along those lines. But I liked it so much that beyond the beyond our flight, I ordered that separately in a glass and drank on that. Yeah. Just because, just because, to me, it was kind of a perfect little mixture of mead and beer. Mm -hmm. Like it was, because um, I found a lot of their fla their other three flavors to be distinctly unique, but I also found them situational too. Mm -hmm. I think one of them is more of a summer chill back, no spring chill back drink. I think one the the blackberry one. I kind of feel like. It, this is gonna sound weird, but it's one that I would personally drink while eating like chocolate cake. Which one was the was the cinnamon? The the is fireball that, one. The fireball. Yeah, yeah. That's that's more of a to me leans cold weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they were all situational, but that hobby one, the bananas one, was so casual. That that's like your casual yeah, one. It hits. It hits right, and then they had their standard, mm -hmm. which you know it was fine. It was fine. It it's the one you want to taste first before you taste all the exact exactly. ones, so that you can so that you can uh, tell what sh you can see what they're working with before they go beyond. Something I will say about their meads overall, compared to what I've had of mead before, mm -hmm. you know I know that's something we don't usually 
dip into a lot is it's even we dip into it less than we do beer and wine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But compared to what I've had before with their product, it's not as sweet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I say that, and I don't mean that as like a shot at them. Like usually when you taste product like that, it's sweet to the point to where it's off putting. Mm-hmm. This one they 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 pull back on the sweetness in in favor of flavor. Mm-hmm. Now mm-hmm. I know that may sound kind of a weird thing to no. say because like you're because because what they're doing is they're making distinct flavor. Like I said, all of those all of those flavors were so situational for me that that I I can branch out and I already did each each situation in which I would drink those meads mm-hmm. they were all perfect I would I felt for different situations mm-hmm. it, it's why I liked their their variety mm-hmm. um they and like I said they do they have a lot of local craft beer on tap didn't try any of the beer this time around but, but there's always next time yeah and um, the the night we were there, not only did we do axe throwing, our our group did axe throwing, but there was also a trivia night, and uh, one of our individuals in the group uh, got second place in trivia, mm-hmm. all by himself. He he was playing he was playing solo, and the rest of the group was playing together, but he was playing together with us and solo, and he ended up getting second place. So. We, I thought it was fun. It was definitely a unique experience. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I know axe throwing isn't uncommon, but I thought it was a unique. I thought it was a unique setup to have. Like I said, it's a venue spot, but it's also like, but it's but it's oh, also bar. yeah, a bar. It's it's got a bar type setting and look and feel to it. It's very casual. You also you, get to see like their process as far as how they make their product yeah like the mead making process and everything like mm-hmm. that yeah they make it in-house I, I i thoroughly enjoyed it um we we plan on going back we definitely plan on going back and any individuals that plan on coming to atlanta this year this may be a spot you want to hit up yes yeah, casual exactly especially like like i wouldn't not that I say don't do this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that if you're coming down for like a straight up vacation, like 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 I would go to Miami. I wouldn't say this is the spot to come to. Although at the same time, I would definitely say that. But I think it's definitely a great spot for like if if you have family in Atlanta or you're coming down for like a casual vacation in Atlanta it's definitely one of those spots that you want to go to and especially like if you're just chilling like if you yeah it, in it, other it, words like if you're not trying to run the street exactly the, which is ironic considering if you're going to this place you technically run the street <laughs> but it, what I mean as in like you don't want to be like deep deep in the city it is definitely uh it is definitely uh a chill atmosphere so mm-hmm. to speak it's definitely like like if you don't want to go into the city and go into and go to a club or eat or and if uh, or and if going into a lounge is either too chill or a little too rambunctious depending on the lounge this this place is a nice medium mm-hmm. like it you like it can be it can be rowdy when you want it to and it can be chill when you want it to I thought it was very, I thought it was a very nice place. I also thought it was a very nice place. (laughs) I mean, you pretty much said most of what I was thinking. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I really did enjoy it. Like, like it's, it's a lot of times, a lot of times when people go to different cities and stuff like that and they look at a lot of different and i see i see a lot of this on like youtube or in like or in like articles and stuff travel blogs and and stuff like that and full disclaimer nothing wrong with any of this but a lot of times when i see travel blogs and travel videos and instagrams and stuff like that about places to go when you go into cities it's always either the most extravagant places 
the the most expensive places or the most touristy or the most touristy spots and even and even with with spots that are like super beautiful and atmospheric and stuff like that but a lot of people a lot of a lot of people don't talk about the in the cut spots you, yeah. I, you honestly really have to and I'm and I'm saying this even though I live in Georgia, fall in the wall area. Yeah, yeah a lot of, like you, you, you gotta, you gotta talk to locals to find spots like Chef. Mm-hmm. To just like, there out. are a lot of good restaurants that that don't get the glitz and glamour of being in a thrillist art though. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. are honestly are better than those. Yeah. Some of them, mm-hmm. some of them. Mm-hmm. I would say are better than those that get featured, than those restaurants that get featured Mm -hmm. and whatnot. And Thrillers has some good shit in their articles. Mm -hmm. But with that said and done, if you're at, we're gonna leave the information for Chef's Move below. Mm -hmm. And um, if you're ever in Marietta, and if you are in Atlanta and or live in Georgia, you know, I'd say it's a night like if you just want a casual Saturday where you want to be out but you don't want to be out out Mm -hmm. like that's one of those places that you know it's even good for like casual dating exactly and of course I have to stress this because you know it's part of our you know one of the reasons why we do this channel like it if you're the type that want to support your your state slash local venues and stuff like that Mm -hmm. and products they make this stuff in house Mm -hmm. so it's made in Georgia Mm -hmm. they sell other products that are made in Georgia Mm -hmm. like you it don't get no writer (laughs) (laughs) you don't get no writer than that it definitely doesn't get more local than that but with that said and done, that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you're notified of all content coming to the channel. Also, check us out on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter. And be sure to share our content around on the internet. And speaking of talking about places to go in your local area, you guys need to send that information to us in the place mm-hmm. that you live. Or, you know, just anywhere in general. Mm-hmm. Like... 2022 is the year of more travel. <laughs> and we yeah. would like to see all the things and eat all the things and drink all the things. Exactly. So let us know what's up. Where we? Where do we need to go? What do we need to see? What do we need to drink? And what do we need to eat? Mm-hmm. But that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. And until next time, everybody. Peace.